Okay, look at this question now. Figure shows a man of mass 60 kilogram standing on a light weighing machine kept in a box of mass 30 kilogram. The box is hanging from a pulley fixed to the ceiling, ceiling through a light rope, the other end of which is held by the man himself. If the man manages to keep the box at rest, what is the weight shown by the machine? What force should he exert on the rope to get his correct weight on the machine? So there are two parts of the question. Let's solve the part one. So for the part one, it's very easy. Uh, this is your man. Okay, this is the box. All right, and this is the weighing machine on the box. Okay, now the man is pulling the rope directly. So the rope will apply tension on the man in upward direction. The rope is also pulling the box upwards. So for the box, we have again tension T upwards. Right, then the man and the uh, 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 lift uh, the elevator are uh, connected to each other through normal force so we have to apply normal force over here the normal force will act on the weighing machine okay now the man has mass 60 kg the box has mass 30 kg so the gravity that is acting on the man will be 600 newton on the box it will be 300 newton correct then just it's very easy now net force should be zero for equilibrium so t plus n equal to 600 t plus n is equal to 600 t minus n equal to 300 t minus n is equal to actually i should write over here t minus n is equal to 300 when you add the two equations what do you get 2t is equals to 900 so we get tension is equal to 450 Newton. So the man should pull on the uh, rope with a force of 450 Newton, right? And the question is asking what force should he exert on the Oh, so yeah, so the first part is asking if the man manages to keep the box at rest. What is the weight shown by the machine? So we have to find the normal force So T is equal to 400 put that over here. T is 450 So N will be 600 minus t so 600 minus 450 so you'll get 150 newton this is the normal force so you can say that reading in newtons will be 150 newton but reading in kilogram will be what force divided by g the weighing machine will divide the force with g so if we take g equal to 10 we get 15 kilogram okay now this was a part one. So let's look at the part two of the question. What force should he exert on the rope to get his correct weight on the machine? So for the second part, for the second part of the question, we have to do exactly same thing. FBD is same. FBD is same. The only problem now is that the normal force has already been defined to be equal to original weight of the man. So the normal force should show 600 Newton. So for the second part we have normal force is equal to 600 Newton. Okay. Now what will happen? The system will start let's say accelerating upwards with acceleration A. So for the man I can write down T plus N minus 600. For the man T plus N minus 600 is equal to 60 A. Okay, T plus N minus 600 is equal to mass 60 into acceleration A upwards. For the box, T minus N minus 300 equal to 30A. So, T minus N minus 300 is equal to 30A. Now, what I do with the second equation, I multiply it with 2. If I multiply the equation with 2, okay, so I'll get what? And then I have to just subtract them. I will subtract them. Subtract the two equations. So this is a 2t positive. So I'll put minus 2t. This is minus 2n. So it will become plus 2n. This is minus 300 into 2. So it will become plus 300 into 2. And this is minus. So t minus 2t. We get minus t. n minus 2n. Sorry. n plus 2n. So we get plus 3n 
माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड सो दे विल कैंसल आउट ओके सो इक्वल टू सिक्सटी ए सिक्सटी ए माइनस सिक्सटी ए सो दैट इज जीरो ओके सो थ्री एन इज इक्वल टू टी नाउ एन इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू एटीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन इज इक्वल टू टी सो दिस इज द फोर्स द मैन शुड अप्लाई ऑन द रोप सो दैट ही कैन सी हिज करेक्ट रीडिंग ओके